I sit by the window every day. What else should I do? Then I realize there's nothing to see. Everyone is home too. Finally, one day, after a full week, I heard some lady voices. I quickly gave a peek. By chance, all ten neighbors took the garbage out in the same minute. Yay! Now they will talk to no limit. I knew I was about a yet to, to be, but never mind, they won't see. I opened the window a tiny crack and added a third ear. And I will share with you what I did here. It's only dangerous if you're 65 years old and up. No, if you're 16, you need to stay home. Yup, yup. But if you're a newborn, it might be dangerous too. Nah, if you're two weeks old, it won't hurt you. But how will I manage this whole quarantine? I think I'll lock the kids in the bathroom, even if it's me. With lots of snacks, I'll stop them up. Hopefully, the be Zach doesn't go. My Sprinzy is the best child. She's calm and sigilazen and never wild. My seven-year-old Drazy is much better. When she saw me working hard, she wrote me a letter. Wait, I must talk to you about an Indian. It's about davening with the minion. My Ralph said even though they lacked the shoe, you can daven six feet apart and you still obey the rule. I don't know. My doctor said this coronavirus is contagious. It doesn't matter the ages. Nuh-uh, davening with a million shows we believe we're in his hands. Then the boy should I look and change his plans. Corona, Corona, it's ringing in my head like a bell. Be quiet, it's enough, I want to yell. Stop sharing your thoughts to everyone you see. Do what you think is right and don't you dare tell me. Telling everyone what to do and what not. Just causes fights that become very hot. So please let's all be so very kind and keep your thoughts to your own mind. Mashiach is surely on his way. We'll see each other in the very next day.